there i'm back hi we're gonna do a little vlog today um i say today it's already the evening and weirdly enough i am sat in a hotel room all by myself um so yeah um being a parent is like one of the hardest jobs that you could ever imagine to do and uh, especially as a mum i feel and also a breastfeeding mum you don't always get that time just to yourself just to like be normal um so hubby had the idea that well actually i had the idea and i i said it to him like a couple of months ago and i was like how nice would it be if i just went to a hotel for the night chilled out and then came back like revitalized and rejuvenated and like a full night's sleep has been had um so yeah he last night or the night before he said to me um why don't you just book a hotel and go and chill out for the evening so here i am i'm actually not far from home i'm literally like 10 minute drive from home um i'm in the premier inn and i am sat here i was just i've just been ordering some food so i just ordered um honest burger because i really just fancy something greasy and nasty well not nasty because it's really good but you know like greasy i've got my barefoot moscato on deck as you can see i've already i'm on my second glass um and yeah i'm going to take my makeup off i'm going to put on a face mask once my food's here i'm going to eat my food and all of that jazz i'm going to take my makeup off put a face mask on downloaded a couple of movies on my ipad and i'm going to get in bed and i'm going to get the best night sleep the reason why it came about is because baby boy is currently teething and i haven't had a full night's sleep in what feels like forever he is normally a really good sleeper um, so it's just like really new for him. So he's just getting up in the middle of the night and I'm not having full night's sleep. And then obviously the days are full on um, with a little girl and she's obviously going to school, but this is her first time she's completed it. And um, yeah, so next week is half term. So he thought, why don't you just go and relax? Next week is gonna be really full on. Like just take that time for yourself and just like get everything together. So today I went and got my nails done. Um, I got rid of them struggle nails. I didn't show you guys before, but oh my God. So I got them cut, I got infill done and I got them cut down, but I got them too short and they were like stumps. They're just not my life. This, this is me. This is like the long nail coffin shape. This is all me. So I got a nice like peachy nude color and it's got like some little sparkles in it. So it makes me feel like nice. Um, so yeah, I've had a really chill day today and I went back home, fed the baby, made sure he was all topped up. He's eating food now, um, so I think that's going to help as well. But he isn't also used to breast milk. I mean, he isn't used to like bottle milk. Like he has it when I'm not around, um, but mainly he's just fully on breast unless I'm not around. Um, so yeah, he is going to have um, a bottle today. I've got some new teats, so hopefully that's going to help. Um, um, teats are like the little nipple things that go in their mouth. Um, so hopefully that's going to help him get some more milk. And he's had his food, um, so hopefully he'll just like not give hubby too much problems. Um, but if he does, <laughs> he'll know what I go through. Anyways, I'm not about that like passing wherever. Anyways, I am waiting for my food. It should be here very shortly. I'm actually really hungry. Um, I'm gonna continue to drink my wine and I'm gonna chill out and then I'm gonna check in with you guys. I think I'm gonna vlog this um, week. Um, yeah, cause it's half term and it'll be fun. I wanna do some fun things with Nova. I ordered some craft stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys ever did it when you were younger, but I was obsessed with like hammer beads and like designing um, little, stuff with all the things so i ordered like a five thousand piece set and if you know how small these little hammer beads are i'm hoping they don't get lost i've also all got um this design thing so we can make some bracelets and friendship bracelets and necklaces and stuff like that it's just really crafty the weather is shocking at the moment like it, i don't know if you guys can hear it but the wind is mad 
um, out there and it's raining and all sorts so I'm quite glad to be like inside tucked up warm um so yeah I'm really gonna enjoy this evening get my face mask on get food in my belly drink my wine will I drink this whole bottle probably will I be drunk probably will I get a good night's sleep hell yeah um so I will check in with you guys shortly bye bye my food and look what's happened outside this thing. It's literally flooded. So quick ITD today or ready to go. I'm looking shiny as hell. But I love my cute little tracksuit I've got on. It's um, all from Zara. The jumper from Zara, jogging bottoms from Zara and then my 270 Nikes and then I put these cute little twists in my hair. Did I sleep well last night? I didn't. Um, I didn't sleep very well. Um, I tossed and turned for ages and I forgot that the clocks went back. So when I checked the time, it was the same time that I went to bed. <laughs> so I didn't lose anything. And then I finally, I fell asleep and I've woken up this morning and I don't know if you can see, but my boobs are rock hard. Um, I'm about to go and have some breakfast. I have booked my table for 10, so I'm just gonna quickly go and eat something because I need to get home, and get the baby on these boobs because they are really, really actually sore and tender to touch. Um, so yeah, let's go and have some breakfast. Good morning. Oh, it's Monday, it's a new week, fresh start, let's get it people um so yesterday was a nice chilled day got back um from the hotel and just chilled out i was super tired um but it was really nice just hanging out with the kids and our half um so i did that um this morning i'm all dragged my clothes on i am literally three days away from finishing chloe ting's 24 day was it 24 no four week super shred or something like that it's called so i'm three days away from completing that um so i'm actually really excited i've got i have actually got really bored of it um so i'm actually really happy that it's coming to an end um i'm gonna start a new challenge in a few days as well um so baby boy is um eating food now so i'm just preparing him some creamy porridge just so you can hear him in the background he's like give me food um, so I'm just doing that and I'm just gonna do my shake ready for after I work out because I'm always so hungry after I finish working out so I'm just gonna get that um, prepared so I can just blend it as soon as I've finished um, yeah and that's how we're starting the day off so oh my god hello hello good morning good morning we're out on the road I am put myself together I'm trying to project the person that I or I want to be on the outside. So we've got a face on, we've got a nice outfit on. I got I put my blazer on today, trying out something new. Um, so yeah, I'm just about to go to the dentist. I'm actually dreading it because obviously I haven't been to the dentist in ages. And before lockdown and before I got pregnant, I was supposed to have my wisdom teeth out. And then obviously I found out I was pregnant and they couldn't take my wisdom teeth out because obviously I was going to be put under general anaesthetic and I was in like my first trimester. So they didn't want to um, take my wisdom teeth out. So I've cracked one of them. <laughs> um, during lockdown um there is no paint at the moment but i know i need to get them out and i know she's probably going to be like so let's sort it out to get these out um so yeah i'm just trying to get some good teeth maintenance back up on my agenda and um, because we i was doing so well i was seeing her every three months and we were really just trying to get a grip of my my teeth because as a kid i wasn't very good with my teeth um so that's what we're trying to do at the moment i've got that and then i'm hopefully so this i got my conch done if you guys remember um and yesterday wearing a flipping mask so first of all i lost the ball of it so it's like this tragus piercing i lost the ball um so i've just been rocking the back of it and i knew i was going to lose it eventually because it kept falling out falling out also it's literally 
the hole closes up so so quickly like if it falls out when i'm sleeping like in the morning it takes me ages to try and re-pierce it um so it hasn't really healed that well because obviously i'm still playing around with it too much um but then yesterday wearing a mask i lost the earring so my sister gave me this earring this big eyesore um but luckily today i was gonna go and check and see if i could get some other piercings done on this side of the ear and um, so i'm gonna get a new earring for that hopefully today because that ain't it um or i might just get them to just replace i want to i want a hoop in it but if they don't have a hoop i'll just go and i'll just get the exact same one that i had um in there and on my tragus as well but we're going to try and get some piercings today i want to get my helix done and i hopefully either a flat or a snug i'm going to get done um today so yeah let's go to the dentist i'm just a little bit early but i'm going to take a little walk over um, i need to yeah get out of here so let's go to the dentist. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, just got back in the car. Oh, I had to treat myself to a Greg's um, breakfast sausage because I haven't had one of these in yonks. And plus I'm treating myself because I got told that my teeth haven't got worse. <laughs> so we're good. She just said that my gums are a little bit inflamed and that would be down to pregnancy and also due to continued breastfeeding because that your estrogen levels increase, which is actually quite interesting to know. So I've just booked in my piercings. I'm about to go. I've decided on a snug and a helix. I'm gonna get done on this side and I've ordered a new conch earring, which is great. So I'll let go and go and get some more piercings. I'm back so we went with two different piercings so I got the helix I got a double helix um, done because for some reason I thought this was a snug but the snug is actually in here and I don't want any more piercings in the ear um, so the guy suggested doing a double helix so I went with um, the ones up here and I actually really like it next one I'm gonna get is a flat here and I'm possibly gonna get maybe a lower helix here um, but yeah it didn't really hurt that much the guy was really nice and chatty I love a good like chatty um, tattoo artist um, peers out um, so he was really nice and it's the same place that I've got my other piercings done and um, so yeah with the curation of my ears are ongoing I'm probably gonna get a lower helix like here on this ear and then definitely gonna get two flats so I want flats on either side um, but yeah I only like to get two piercings done at a time um, and let them heal up um, so yeah new piercing on deck mm. and my ear actually feels a little bit red but it looks a bit red as well but we're good so yes now time to go back to being a mother let me go home and resume my day it's so miserable today I don't know if you can see raining raining um I actually just missed getting a parking ticket I just saw the guy I did pay for it but I don't actually think I can actually park here but anyways um thank the lord I didn't get a parking ticket um because that would have been a hella expensive piercing journey um so yeah I better go because hubby is working and I should be at home looking after the kids <laughs> 